hello and welcome back to Alison Rushing Crafts. It's a very special day for me today uh, because it's my five year anniversary with Stamping Up and my upline Pip Todman sent me this beautiful stunning trifold shutter card. Isn't that lovely? So clever and beautiful. Who wouldn't want to put that on their mantelpiece? I'm going to try and recreate this card uh, using the Everything is Rosy uh, suite. Now I know the new catalogue has just come out and there are some stunning new sets in there but this is the bargain to be had. If you're in the UK this is still available. It's actually on the clearance rack and it's down from £74 to just £40.70. I mean that's a whopping saving. Um, so go and have a look over on the clearance rack and uh, get your hands on this. Uh, this is the stamp set that you get with it. It's a suite of products, uh, all coordinating. Look at that, some beautiful flowers, leaves and some great sentiments on there. Sorry about the shine. There we go. And inside you get the uh, photopolymer stamps and you get a full set of dies. There's 10 in the set. There's this beautiful edging die with some flowers that you can cut out, leaves, and these are all punch out using the images. In this suite, you also get this beautiful shimmer paint in rose gold. And look at these, aren't they just beautiful? It's 9.1 metres each on these rolls. And this is Knight of Navy. Focus, Knight of Navy with rose gold edging along it. It's like a satin ribbon. And this one is Melon Mambo in a ruched ribbon. Absolutely gorgeous. So you get those and you get some embellishments. You get these um, mirror elements. So you can just pop these out and use them as you would see sequins and they're adhesive backed. So pretty and they're going in rose gold. And then we come to the papers. Now in the papers you get two sheets, I can get them out, of these elements and as you can see I've already started using these so that's a full sheet. You get two of these and you just pop them out nice and easy. So all the hard work is already done for you. And you can embellish your card with those. So you get two sheets of those. You get two sheets of these rose, rose gold edged labels. And then obviously the flower up there. You get two sheets of those. And you get two sheets elements I've been using of these labels and again another beautiful rose gold sugar aren't they just gorgeous you get one let's have a look one two three four five six seven eight eight sheets of six by six rose gold foil paper and then we come to the uh, actual papers and these are all double sided so the papers you get eight of each and there's six designs in here double sided so that's your first one and then look at that that pretty so this is like a speciality paper because it's all foiled. 
Isn't that gorgeous? This one. The pretty little pink. And the colours in this suite are um, the rose gold, as I say, Knight of Navy and Melon Mambo. So brilliant combination. And there's eight. Nice simple design on the back. And you've got all that sparkling glitz on the front. Oh, that's nice. Right, that. Because I think this is my favourite. It's just beautiful. It's just got those little hints in the flowers of the rose gold. Nice and subtle on a bold paper. It's lovely. And the last one is in Melon Mambo. And look at all that shine. Oh, I didn't show you the back of that one, did I? There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And this one. A nice night of navy stripe. So that's the suite. So let's get going with making the card. Let's just move all of this out the way. And I will get back to you. Right, so let's get going. Um, you're going to need a trimmer for this project. Um, some method of scoring, you've obviously got, depending on your trimmer, um, you've got a scoring blade on here, but I'm going to use today uh, the scoreboard um, with the metric uh, plate insert on it. So we'll come back to that in a minute. The cardstock I'm going to be using is I've got a sheet of 12 by 12 Melon Mambo and an A4 sheet of Knight of Navy. I'm going to be using the Melon Mambo ink and I've decided to go with my favourite of the DSP and use this one today and I'm going to use some of the elements that I've just popped out with. We'll see how we go as we go along. Um, and that's one that I've stamped and uh, die cut. So I'll show you that as well, how I did that in a moment. All right, with your trimmer, you can see the measurements. Sorry, I don't have an awful lot of room on my table, so I'll just try and get this in. Taking a sheet of 12 by 12 this is just slightly over um this is actually about i think it's 30 31 centimeters which is well, 30 30 and a half it's uh, wider than a, a sheet of a4 but that you'll see you get extra on it so we need to trim this down just a little bit so i've got the a4 sheets I'm putting the arm out and i love this trimmer the uh, arm on it feels so strong it's not flimsy at all and i'm going to first off cut this at 15 centimeters i'm not going to cut down the length yet because obviously i might want to use the excess on on another project and want that full 12 inches so 15 centimeters let's put that aside i'm going to turn it and trim it at 30 just nibbing off that tiny bit. So you've now got a piece 15 by 30 and that's going to create our base. Now we need to start scoring. 
I'm getting my scoreboard out. Make sure you can see the measurements. One thing I want to know is I've just cut that to 30, which is perfect because I've cut it from a sheet of 12 by 12. And I'm going to score at 5, 10, 20 and 25, which gives me nice even scores across the sheet. However, if I used, if you've only got a sheet of A4 and you're using A4, can you see there is still that tiny bit shorter a sheet of A4 is? So what you'll need to do is on your scoreboard, just push it over a smidge. So you've got an equal amount. So you've got your 30 here with a tiny gap and you've got a tiny gap up this end. So sort of just even it off so that when you score, you're then scoring in the same marks, but it's going to be even. Otherwise, you're going to have um, a bit sticking out. Okay, so that's just a tip there. So take our sheet of 15 by 30 and we're going to score at 5, 10, 20, And 25 and that's it and scoring getting back out our trimmer putting the sheet short edge up at the top you want to put it to five centimeters and we're going to cut between the five centimeter at each end so you're going to go across these other two but you're not going to cut the ends so if you pop your blade in the middle you're going to take it up to the five And down to the five score mark. Take it out, turn it around, put it back on five centimeters, pop your blade down, get up and down. should now be left with this okay so then we need to start scoring this so along this score line here we're going to start with the middle piece and just gently trying to ease that and that will then naturally bend this piece here Take that in. And this one here, and turn it in the other. You're going to do the opposite at the other end. And we're going to ease it gently there. These two are going to come up. And then the opposite, where you've got it coming up this piece these are going to go down you're not going to bend these pieces here on the five centimeter score and you only should be left with that so let's fold it all carefully together and now we can burnish those pieces there we go. 
and that's the base for your card. Okay, I'm going to put that aside and we're going to get cutting on all the mats and layers that need to go on to make up this card. Okay, so from a sheet of uh, A4, putting the short edge at the top to try and get the most out of my cardstock, I'm going to do some four and a half centimetre strips. That's one put aside. Three. Three. Side. Then taking one of your strips, you're going to cut at fourteen point four, and you need two of these. One. scrap. So you've got two of those now. You need three at ten centimetres. One. Two. I'm going to hang on to that piece. and then with these pieces you need six 4.5 so four and a half centimeters and this is one two three That's all you need out of that sheet of A4. And you've still got quite a nice strip left for something else later. These are all just little scraps that you don't need. Then with your DSP for the layers, you're going to cut at 14. So let's by four so let's do some strips of four and you want two of these one this is four centimeters two and then turn it and you want to cut it at 14 those two pieces you need four again and you're going to need three at 9.5 so I'm going to use a couple of sheets of DSP for this hang on to that piece Ten. And again, four, five, 
ten. That gives us our three layers there. And taking these three little pieces, we can trim these down and they need to be four by four. So they're already four wide. So that's one. six of these all together that's three of those four one two and the last one Three. So that was using two sheets of the 6x6 DSP for all our layers there. And you've still got a few bits and pieces that could probably be used on another project. Alright, let's just move all those out to the side. Okay, so next, just using some uh, liquid adhesive, I'm just going to mat and layer all of these uh, pieces up. Adhesive. And right, I just stopped then because I just realised I cut one of these for some reason too long. Um, so this mat was actually at ten. So I may have given you the wrong dimensions for the middle size. It should have been nine and a half by four. So. If I said 10, then I apologise. That's for the uh, the Night Navy backing mat. And I managed to do two of them okay. And not the third. Such pretty paper, isn't it? It's lovely, lovely to work with. It's really thick as well. I mean, to say Stampin' Up's DSP quality is lovely. Okay, so that's those three. Right, I'm going to get on and uh, finish layering these up. Right, what we need to do now is stick these onto our card base. So I'm bringing that back in. You can see choose which way up you like it. And we're going to stick the first piece. Let's go that way. In there, giving a nice even border all around. Second long piece. Everything goes in this back portion. For this one, these two medium pieces go here and here.
Okay, and they always say, I'll make it a card, measure, and then cut. Well, that would have been fine, but I wrote down the wrong dimensions in the first place for these three pieces. I think I said 10 by 4.5 for the Knight and Navy, and it should have been 9.5 by 4.5. And, and the DSP, I think I said 9.5 by 4, and it should have been 9 by 4. So I've already stuck these down and was wondering why I had a little lip on the other side and that would be why. I'm just going to very carefully snip that back. And same again on this side. I'm hoping that as they're both the same top and bottom. They're going to match and it's not really it's not going to be that obvious there we go I've just managed to save the day there and this one as I haven't stuck it down yet I'm going to very carefully nib a tiny bit of the Knight of Navy off at each end And keep it nice and square. There we go. Let's have a look, see if that fits in. Yes, perfect. There we go, rescued. So, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, correct measurements. So, don't do as I say. I'll put the correct measurements below. And we call them happy accidents. And as I say, it's salvageable. It's just paper and card. And take that in just to the end so they all match. Make sure it folds. There we go. Rescued. Let's let that dry. And let's hope we've done these ones right. I think that's going to work perfectly. <laughs> together now quite beautifully one more to put on and so it's my first time making this card um, Pip's done her own video over on her own channel making this with the correct measurements <laughs> made it a little bit more eloquently than I have I think but let's hope the result will come out the same in the end and as I say you learn by your mistakes this is one I probably won't do again I hope <laughs> in there, nearly done. So, and sometimes it's nice to see bloopers and all that we all make mistakes, but it's not the end of the world. There we go, salvaged. And I don't think any recipient getting that will be any the wiser, do you? 
<laughs> That's because they watch this video. <laughs> okay, so moving on, let's get this decorated. I'm going to use these um, elements, as I say, that just pop out and uh, pop our sentiment on there. Um, but I want to make these, just give them a little bit of dimension. So I've already stamped and die cut out one. Uh, I've got to do another one. I'm not quite sure if we're going to use everything yet that we've got here. Um, but let's have a... Have a little look. So I'm going to take the large flower and my melon mumbo. And I'm going to stamp it at full strength. One, two, three, and off we go. And there we go, beautiful. Then I'm going to take this flower centre and I'm going to stamp off. Now I don't, I haven't worked out, I don't think there is an exact way that this goes around. So we're just going to pop it in the middle. I think it looks alright, like that. And then I'm going to take a tiny little centre and at full strength just pop those little dots in the middle. Okay, so that's our little flower stamped up. Let's pop that away. And then taking the die, I'm going to line it up. That's not right. There, I'm going to take a little bit of washi. I always use, even though I've got a magnetic plate on my... Um, die casting machine I always pop a little bit of washi um, just to hold it in place cut that out. there we go and just pop that out that's two of those All that. Okay, right, let's bring back in our card and see where to start decorating. Oh, no, sentiment. We haven't stamped the sentiment. Let's do that first. I'm going to use this little uh, one here. And from the stamp set, I'm going to use... Uh, it says, time to celebrate all the lovely things in life, starting with you. And then I'm going to put on the other side, I'll, I'll put a happy birthday right on the other side of it. Uh, shall we use Melon Mambo? I think so. Right, I'm going to stamp over as far over to this edge as possible because I want to put some, um, some of the flowers decoration um, on that side. So, link it up. <clears throat> I'm gonna head over it, get it in as far as I can. One, two, three. Ooh, there we go. That's pretty. I like that. Give that a moment or two to dry because it is this card has just got a slight glossiness to it, so that's lovely, isn't it? Can you see that? Rose gold really sets it off. Okay, while well, that's drying, let's leave that over there. Let's bring back in the card. And let's have a look what where we're going to decorate. Right, I think I'd like that around there. Look at how thick. Yeah. I think I'm going to put that, should stick that straight down there and then perhaps use that just to give it a little bit of, tiny bit of dimension. Because there's a lot of dimension in the card already. Let's find my uh, 
dimensionals. Hmm. Side, or do I move it off? No. Yeah, let's give it some dimension. Make sure that's all on the card, is not it? Yep. So, a few of these on the back. It doesn't go soggy anywhere. A few extra little bits to use up. There we go, that should do it. To use uh, use my nails, use tweezers when I'm putting dimensionals on. I find I become all fingers and thumbs. There we go. Now, all the way around. No, definitely that way. So just stop it coming much over the edge and then we're going to layer up this one a couple more dimensionals I don't waste these edge bits these are perfect you just snip around these they give you half dimensionals as well which are quite handy for getting in those smaller places although we do do little mini ones as well okay. and then, whoops, stop that on there come off come off that's it Right, let's get this around the right way. Line that up because that flower down there is the same as this flower here. So I can just line up these two little bits of petals. Perfectly. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that's just giving it just that extra little bit. Go on there. Right, next. Uh, sentiment. I want the sentiment to be around there, if you'd like. That one. You have to go the other way. But what well, you've got to be careful here, if I put that there, what I've got to work out is. You don't want the overhang here. If you've got overhang, and the likelihood is it's not going to go in a close up in the envelope properly. So we might need to perhaps put that one down there. Come in with a slightly smaller one. Let's have a look. There. Let's check. Sorry, I was in the way. Line that up like that, I think. Yes, that should just about do. And I want to leave this one flat there anyway. I think. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, let's go with that. Right, so I'm going to stick this one just straight down. That's flat. I'm going to go central and towards the back. You can still see. There. And take this one and did we say this way? Yeah, that fits in quite pretty there, doesn't it? 
Okay, so I think I'm going to use this little one here and I'm just going to stick this one down flat. Sorry, that's my chair squeaking, not me, honest. <laughs> you hear any noises in the background, by the way? Hubby is in and out doing some 3D printing. Now he's got them working again properly. Right, I'm going to pop that one there. And then I'm going to use this one. And I think I'm going to pop it down in this corner here. So again, let's go flat with that one. I'm going to go flat with these because they're on the back and I do want to put a little bit of dimension on them. So pop that one. There. Just puts them together nicely. And then I've got this other one here that I uh, stamped and die cut out. And line it up and match it up. So I'm going to be able to put it on dimensionals. Turns out too thick, then I'll have to remove it. Let's give it a go. I guess it'll look pretty when they're raised up a little bit. And I can hand deliver this card anyway, so I know it'll go in an envelope. It's just whether or not. Close, okay. Yes, beautiful. Look at that. That's stunning. That's so pretty. I'm looking at this one here now, thinking, do I need to stamp and do that one as well? But I no, I think that's enough. That's gorgeous. Right, we're nearly done. I think I am going to just embellish it a little bit with a wink of Stella because of course there's not enough glitz on there already is there <laughs> with the uh, rose gold just this one here that I die cut out I'm just going to add to the petals Tiny bit of Wink of Stella. Give it a little bit of glitz and glam. And that one. Just a little bit. I don't want to do this too much because don't forget you've um, stamped this with a water-based ink so if you do it too much it will move it and you'll get smudging I left that long enough to dry but there's no smudging there at all and I think I'm going to just add it a little bit just to tie it all in together and there. Beautiful. Now I need to decide, am I going to put any of these on or not? Or do we think we've already got it? It's quite busy. Quite a busy card anyway. So I think I'll leave these off on this one. But there we go. Can you see that? How beautiful is that? I don't know if you can see. That wink of Stella on there. It's just beautiful. And there we go. And hopefully, <laughs> once I get the measurements right next time, 
I'd have done Pip Proud on her make. Let's bring her one back in. Gently look stunning. Brilliant cards. Yeah. Right, thank you very much for watching. If there's anything, uh, as I say, you've seen that you want to purchase, pop on over to my Stampin' Up website uh, where you can purchase all these products that I've used today. Uh, thank you. Bye. Someone up there.